Hey everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm talking about what I read in November or in other words my reading wrap up. November was a fairly good month. It was meant to be better because I did actually plan to read several more books. Unfortunately I had a PC problem and a few other things came up so my reading was heavily affected by this which was annoying but these things happen. But I still managed to get seven books read which is a good number. And without further delay, I'll get started on to talking about the books themselves. The first book is God's Bought by Cameron Hurley. This is my first ever book by Cameron Hurley, who has become quite a popular author on BookTube as of the last six months or 12 months. And this is about a character called Nix Nissa, who is on this quite weird world, which is sort of both so it has science fiction elements to it, but it also has fantasy elements, and indeed I would class this as a proper SFF book. And I'm not going to talk about it too much in depth because I'm doing a video about this and one of the other books that I'm talking about today uh, next week. But I really did enjoy it, it had some really interesting ideas, and the characters were really really good. However, I did, did only give it 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I'll explain why. Uh, in next week's video, but it was a good book though. Uh, and it's the first in the Bell Dame Apocrypha trilogy as well. And I will be reading the other two in the trilogy in a month or two's time. I'll go and buy them first. The second book that I read was 61 Hours by Lee Child. This is the 14th book in the Jack Reacher series, of which there are currently 20, I think, or they may have just released the 21st. I'm not 100% sure on this. And the character of Jack Reacher is an ex-military policeman in America who wanders around the US. He does occasionally go to other countries, but not often. And he sort of gets himself into situations and then has to try and get himself out of them. And this I got 45 stars on Goodreads. It's a good, solid action filler with sort of kind of detective elements, although that's only quite light. At this point though, I'm starting to get a little bit almost jaded of these books and this is something that I didn't expect to happen just yet but this is the 14th so it's not surprising in a sense I just hoped it would last a bit longer though but oh well these things happen but it is a good book though and a good entry in the Jack Reacher series. The third book that I read was The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. This is the fifth book in the Wheel of Time series of which there are 14 in total. I cannot talk about the plot due to obviously the fact that it is the 5th of 14 so anything I say would be plot spoilery but it was a really good solid entry in a really good fantasy series which has elements of Tolkien about it it's a big epic fantasy with them going across country there are large amounts of characters there is a sort of dark evil presence that they are trying to not allow them to take over and murder them all and it's a good book i did enjoy it it is however massive i mean it's 900 pages and due to the sheer thickness of this edition as well in terms of i mean literal thickness it did sort of kill my reading ability a little bit because it's really awkward to physically hold and read but that's just a minor thing and really it's just to do with this particular edition the fourth book is the Female Man by Joanna Russ. This is a science fiction book which is known for having uh, ideas of feminism in it. It is about a parallel world where there are three female characters who are the same character as such. They are the same woman but in parallel worlds and if things have gone in a slightly different way in their world. One world is very similar to ours. One is uh, more open or one is less open and I'm not going to talk about this in any more detail because this is the other book I will be talking about in next week's video but I really did enjoy this it had some really interesting ideas in it and I gave it four or five stars on Goodreads and I would really recommend this especially if you want something that makes you think it's only a quick little book as well so it won't take you long to read. The fifth book that I read was Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson. 
This is the first book in the Mars trilogy. The second is called Green Mars and then the third is called Blue Mars. I am currently reading Green Mars as of this moment. This is a hard science fiction book about a group of colonists who go to Mars. Obviously, they start trying to build things there and sort of adapt Mars to human living conditions. They start a terraforming process which then become much much greater than themselves. Other colonists come along and things don't work out the way they expect. It's hard science fiction which with a character focus and the ideas in it I love I'm, I'm, and indeed I'm still finding out because Green Mars so far carries on directly from this and overall it is going to be a trilogy that is frankly brilliant and that I'm going to class as a favourite trilogy of mine within the science fiction genre. I will probably do a review of the trilogy as a whole or some other kind of video about it in a month or two's time once I've finished the second and then the third books. But yeah, this is a really fun book, brilliant ideas. It's lengthy though. If you have an issue with that, then you might not enjoy this book. Obviously, I don't mind enjoying a book. Not too often though, but still. And just a brilliant book in general. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Actually, it's the only 5 out of 5 stars book that I read in November. The sixth and penultimate book that I read in November was Nova by Samuel D. Laney. This is the newer science fiction masterworks edition, which was only, only actually released in mid-November. I read this as part of a buddy read with Rachel over on her channel Kalanada, whose channel obviously I will link in the description box below, of course, as always. This is a science fiction book about a captain of a ship who wants to obtain this very particular resource. The resource is very rare and it is used for interstellar flight between uh, star systems and he wants to basically fly into a star as he's in the process of going Nova to sort of grab a big bunch of this material. Now the focus of the book is not on the captain himself which is uh, Captain Lork Van Ray. It's more on him as a character and indeed the other members of the crew. The fact that they're having to fly into a Nova eventually is sort of a side issue really. It's about the characters and his relationship with two other characters who he has a relationship with when he was uh, much younger and this relationship is something that's defined him as a person in some very significant ways. I like this. It did have a few odd little things about it which I can't quite name. And indeed, I think Rachel had the same issue. Where I get 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I did consider giving it 5 out of 5 stars. But there's just something little that I can't define. That just stopped it from being brilliant. It was good. And the writing was really, really good. The seventh and final book that I read in November was Weave World by Clive Barker. This is a fantasy novel with horror elements to it. And indeed, Clive Barker has written most of his books within the horror genre. This is a very difficult to describe novel because there is a world that's been sort of stored or saved into the fabric of an actual physical carpet that's been rolled up. And this world um, has got people living in it as such, although they're not actually conscious, they're more like in a stasis within the carpet. It's really difficult to explain this book is, and indeed that was actually my main problem with the book, is that the ideas in it were brilliant, and indeed some of the writing was brilliant, but not all of it. At a point, it felt like the plot was jumping from one place and then it would suddenly sort of chop out there and got cut and then it would jump over there and then it would do it again. And it... There's just something about the book that didn't quite gel with me, which is unfortunate because the ideas were brilliant. I mean, this could spawn 
multiple other types of things and indeed I bet this was probably used for inspiration for other authors and indeed other books obviously what they are I don't know without further research which I will indeed start doing but I did enjoy it it just lacked something and obviously the jumping around of the plot annoyed me especially in the middle sort of jumps around quite heavily more than it needs to do and as a result of this issue and this viewers I only gave it 3 out of 5 stars which is still a good marker because it is a good book it's just odd in ways that I can't quite define so that's it for all the books I've read if you've read any of them or you would like to read any of them then please leave me a comment below and we can have a conversation um, all my social media links can be found in the description box below as they always are I mean that said that is it for this video so thanks for watching and I'll see you another time. Bye for now.